Hi, you seem to enjoy the two tone studies, or this the tone studies in two colours I did yesterday. Um, I'm going to go back to the simple tree painting, the very simple one I did as a third demonstration, but do it in colour. But I'm not going to do a wetting way, I'm just going to paint just wet bits of the painting so that the, the colour hits and misses and leaves some nice sparkle on the on the paper. This is Bockingford, £140, very good quality paper. That's my palette, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt, uh, burnt umber, Payne's grey and burnt sienna. I won't use them all. I'm just groveling around on the floor of my studio here, trying to make some space and plug in another double socket extend, extension. And I came across this photograph. Can you see that? I, I did that Oh, years ago, it, I think this was acrylic. Um, uh, I'm not sure, it might, might have been oil, I was doing a lot of oil back then. I have sold the picture since, but I did this about 15 years ago. Long time, long time. But a uh, bit of an abstract, the, the, uh, the, the flowers are not botanical specimens, I hasten to add. They're an approximation of, of flowers. Right, well, let's uh, just put in some of this here. I used to do this with a, with a, a number 10 squirrel brush, and it was quite heavy going, I must say. So, uh, I'll use a bit of ultramarine straight into that. I'm using the, the hake and I'm basing this on an old, I can't remember his Christian name, Jarbo painting. He painted a lot of simple, well deceptively simple uh, paintings and fence posters. So he did some very complicated ones as well. Marvellous artist. I think it's C-Z-A-R-B-O. Siabo, he's American and a fantastic painter. So I did my own versions of it. This is sort of a hilly background. I'm going to put in the uh, foreground in this area here with the tree going up. But I'm doing this in more colour. So I have my electrics. Hair dry, right? Take your headphones off. Go. And I think for this one, I'll use this very cheap hake. It came in a pack of three, very, very cheap. They weren't very expensive. So, uh, put in some bit of landscape here. Let's use a bit of, bit of burnt sienna. And a bit of, bit of burnt umber as well there. Just bit dark and a bit of lemon yellow then we'll put some darks in the paints grey it's all this sort of stuff just just an impressionist type of landscape Bit of yellow oak, uh, raw sienna. Bit of green. Just making a, trying to make a pretty picture here. Get some nice darks. A shadow in there, that's where the tree's gonna go. Don't do too much overpainting if you do this sort of thing. I 
otherwise it'll go muddy and we don't want that. Let's just flick out some. Okay. Now we're, we're doing autumn. Autumn is a very, very attractive time of the year for us painters. We can make with the uh, bit of red. Now I've some burnt umber in there. Bit of dark now. Right, well that's our basic tree, put some warm down here. Probably overdoing this, but... Right. We'll put in some rigger work in there, clean the brush. Um, number three rigger, I'll just give that a bit of a dry. I don't want it all to vanish into the panes. Into the wet paint, that is. I've got a little bit too central with this, but I'm going to develop this side more than that side, I will if I remember. Nice and, nice and wet. Leave some gaps. We can go over that again with some firmer. Right, this is just a, it's a bit there. And this is this is really simple painting. The texture in here. I'm going to put some darks over some of that. Okay. Right, I'll uh, back to the hake. No, burnt umber.
Interesting cave that dude. We'll uh, put that in, in the mount and see what we've done. Uh, is it worth a signature? We can we can move to so there. So plenty of sparkle. You don't have to have a frame to exactly fit the picture because you can cut off and make a better composition by moving around a bit. Right, that's just right, okay. So there we go, let's just I'll sign that, I think that's alright. I used to do loads of these in time has gone by. Let's just move this round. So just a simple sky and an autumn scene. I'm still trying to uh, get that right. Okay, that's not better. Well, there we are. It couldn't be more more simple than that. There's no detail, it looks like a lot of detail, there's plenty of colour in it. Um, but don't fill the, the, uh, the foliage with solid lines all the way. You, you need just sky holes or holes where darker foliage is in front of the actual twigs, branches and so on. Not a great example, but, but I'm going to do a few of these today because it's pouring with rain outside, it's cold, wet and windy. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.